Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play uh, Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, let me check to make sure we got the boulder back. We did. Good. Alright. Um. Right. Alright. Uh. That's not what I wanted to do. Um. Pokemon. Harlan! Let's see. We are going to get the amulet coin off you and give it to Mykonid. Or actually, no, we're not. We're going to give it to Elmo, who we're going to... For, for, first, we're going to take this off him. Cleanse tag from Elmo. Elmo is going to get given the amulet coin. Good. And move to the front. Because we're headed, you know what, he's actually, I f didn't heal, so let's do that. Oops. Because we're going to be fighting a bunch of Team Aqua Grunts, although actually the first one we should fight is going to have a Poochiena, but uh, what the hell. Alright. Anyway, let's, so let's head to the Aqua Hideout for the third time. But this time we actually get to go through it. Got anything new to say? Nope. Yeah, whatever. Okay, yes. So. so that guy is still there. Yes. Uh, Alright. In. There we go. And as you can see, these two twits are gone. All right, uh, let's see here. I actually am going to move uh, Mike and Id to the front because this guy's got a Poochiena. Yes, you can. <laughs> you could, yeah, it, he's not hard to pass, but delicious experience. Ay, 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 suspicious character spotted. Yeah, Rita's escaped. Recruit a team of teenagers with attitudes. I like how this place actually has different floors than anything else. Okay then. Mike and it. Mock punch. Because you do want everybody at full HP and PP for doing this place. And Mike and I got some XP. The boulder gets some XP. We defeated the Team Aqua Grunt. Grr, I lost it! Okay. I took the loss for the team, but I did my job. Yeah, basically, these guys are stalling us. But it doesn't matter whether or not they stall us. Because... You can't get through here in time anyway. Alright, so first step on this right teleporter, and we get a max elixir. Very nice. Step on here, and onto the other teleporter. Yeah, apparently these guys subcontracted out with Sabrina. Okay. So head this way. Talk to her. Yeah, keeping watch over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. Okay. And yes. So she's going to have a Carvana. We're going to Thunderbolt it. Alright. Yeah, as you can see, we're no longer that over leveled. Still a bit over leveled. And Elmer grew to level 34. Very nice. Oh, oh, I lost. Okay, we got a team battle over here. That's progression. I wish you could run in here. All right. All right, now step on this teleporter. This is a maze. Okay, now step on this one. 
Now step this way. Now go this way. And here we are in Archie's hideout, basically. Or Archie's office. Now we've got um, a nugget, which is nice. And a Master Ball, which is the only one in the game. And now we've got, uh, let's see, two level 30 electrodes. I'm going to switch the boulder in. Because he could use a little H, or a little more XP. And you might not have. Well, the electrode appeared, and it's not a double battle, so the boulder can spam magnitude to his heart's content. Yes. Five? Meh. I love how these localized earthquakes do no damage to the structure. Yeah, that you can see that's kind of a screech. Meh. That's fine. Yeah, you guys, if you guys aren't using four, dude. Sheesh, and that critted. Um, tackle. Oh, jerk. It's not very effective. Still did quite a bunch, quite a lot of damage. Alright, um. Uh, right. uh let's, uh, bag. Mm, do I have super potion? Uh, yeah, I'll use it on the boulder. Alright. Yeah, just just to be safe. And we'll do this next one. You can catch these guys if you want. And you need to get everything here because this place will go away. It's not like New Maville. Uh, so, you know, keep that in mind. Okay. Sonic Boom. That actually hurts. Come on. Six. Sheesh. Come on, Boulder. Fight. Magnitude again. Spark. That doesn't do anything. Seven. Better. And now you're not going to use it again for a while. Oh, well. All right. And now we're going to head back out. All right. All right. So, middle. Left. And, of course, upper. And now we're back. Let's uh, move. Um, let's see. We've got a double battle coming, which is Zubat and Carvana. So let's switch Elmo to the front. And Poochie and a Zubat. So Elmo and Mykonid continue to be our dynamic duo. Mostly because Harlan is really, really high leveled. If you want to know the secret about our hideout, you have me to beat. Hey, you there. Which do you think is cooler, Team Aqua's uniform or Team Magma's? <sighs> I think you are both equally fashionably challenged, but at least you guys are cooler temperature-wise. You're not wearing hoodie pajamas? <sighs> All right. Okay, Thunderbolt, the Zubat, I Mock Punch, the Pooch. I like Poochiena. I think they're kind of adorable. Which does not stop me from punching them. Alright. And now out comes Zubat. Pardon me. And it's super effective, yay. All right, and the boulder grew to level 34, very nice. All right, Carvana. All right, Elmo, let's see. You're going to Thunderbolt the Zubat. Mike and it is going to mock punch the Carvana because it's not gonna do him that much damage. Yeah, 
Yeah, rough skin hurt. You see, it doesn't really do that much. Alright. Elmo Thunderbolt the bat. Yeah, because this is all... This place is flying, mostly flying dark and water. These two are far and away our dynamic duo. Yes, yes. I can't win at all. I lost in a cool way. Sure you did, hon. Our hideout secret? Well, let's just say there's a submarine at the far end. But by now... <laughs> if you have a cool uniform, you look good even in a loss, don't you think? I love how some of these guys actually speak to you. Um, and now we can go downstairs. Yes. Still think these things look like hippos. Okay, this guy has a Carvana. I'm going to switch Mike and Ed to the front. Wahaha, <laughs> I grew weary of waiting. You owe me a battle, too. Sure, whatever. <sighs> I think I like Team Magma's logo better. This one just kind of looks a bit silly. Mock punch. Punch the fish. All right. All right. Yes. Team Aqua Grunt. Tired of waiting. Lost and dazed. Boss, is this good enough? Yeah, basically it is, actually. But take the teleporter. All right. Now. Upstairs. And we've got a Grunt, and he's got a Zubat, so Elmo... All right. I think I took the wrong path. Oop, and forgot to read his stuff. Oh, well. Hold on. Team Aqua Grunt would like to battle. Elmo. Yes, yes. Fight. Thunderbolt. It's super effective! Yay! And we defeated the Grunt. I took a serious licking. Yes, you did. Humph. This was supposed to happen. My mission was just to hold you up. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm checking my Pokemon. Uh, Amethyst is now level 33. Uh, let's uh, take that off of her. And um, we're going to switch... Er, we're going to take that off of the boulder and put it on Amethyst. There we go. Mostly because, yeah, okay, I forgot. Yeah, there's actually a teleporter down here that we need to go to. And we get a nest ball. Eh, it's not that great, but it's here, and we want to loot this place because Team Aqua is annoying. All right, now we can go back that way. All right, now we go up the stairs. There shouldn't be anybody here. There's nothing in the trash cans. No hamburgers. Down these stairs, we got a double battle. She's got a Zubat. He's got a Carvana. Uh, quick check. Yeah, Elmo and Mykonid. Warp panels, the hideout's pride and joy. You're clueless about where you are, aren't you? No. Fluster and tire out the enemy, then lower the boom. That's our plan. Whatever. When I joined Team Aqua, the first thing I had to learn was how these warp panels connected. I bet. Uh, so does Sabrina, do you, are you guys paying Sabrina, uh, royalties for this? Alright. Yeah. 
Zubat and Carvana. Elmo is going to Thunderbolt the bat. Mykonid is going to Mock Punch the fish. to get the boulder up to, you know, up, up with everybody else. Amethyst and the boulder aren't going to get a lot of, yeah, grow to level 34, very nice. These two, what's wrong with you? You're not tired at all. I was too occupied thinking about the warp panels. <laughs> really? All right, let's see. Um, Mike and Ed's going to switch into the front. Okay, quick, uh, quickly check our Pokemon again. Mykonid's actually our lowest leveled person. Well, so I'm actually switching the, I'm gonna actually, really? Item, take. I'm gonna give him the experience share. Ah, so he'll get all of the experience from his... Okay, don't step on that teleporter. <laughs> got here already, did you? We underestimated you. But this is it. I'm a cut above the grunch you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Yeah, so this is the second admin. Magma has one too. Uh, yeah. Aqua Admin Matt would like to battle. He got a makeover for the remakes, too. <sighs> a lot more top-heavy, dark skin, and black hair. Much like Shelly. Yep. Yep. Oh, that was... I should have... I should have leech-seeded him. Oh, well. Yep. Scary face. All right, well, fight, leech seed, swagger, that could be a problem. Come on, Mike and Ed. Ah, oh, crud. Yes, come on, no, come on, Mike and Ed, come on. Damn. <sighs> Ow, okay, uh, Okay, if you want it that way, sorry, dude. Harlan. Yeah, I should have leech seated him first. Keep that in mind, kids. Odor Sleuth. Double kick. It's super effective. Mike and Id will still get three quarters of the experience from this fight, so that's pretty nice. And he's going to send out a Golbat. Yes, I will change Pokemon. Elmo, you're up. Okay. <laughs> Fight. Thunderbolt. I think Thunderbolt and Thunder are good. Two good things to know. One is much more devastating, but less precise. Unless you're, yeah, Mike and Ed grew to level 34. Excellent. Elmo. So, now, at this point, <laughs> so I lost too. Yep. <laughs> While I was toying with you, our boss got through his preparations. Damn it. Our boss has already gone in his way to some cave under the sea. If you're going to give chase, you'd better search the big wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find it then? <laughs> yeah, that's actually going to take a while. We're not coming back to this part of the plot for a long time. So let's just get out of here. All right. All right. Yes. Yes, I would. Bruce, use surf. So let's see. Uh... 
quick check who's in the front. Mike and Id, uh, better put Elmo up. Elmo, switch. Good. Elmo and Mike and Id are still going to be our two MVPs out, out there in the wide blue sea beyond Lilico. Um, right. Let's, so let's go heal, obviously. And yes. And then, let's see, we're at 20 minutes. We've got some stuff to do. So our next, now all we have to do is go and take on the seventh gym. Our MVPs there are going to be Amethyst, Bruce, and the Boulder. For, wait, no, not the Boulder, excuse me. Amethyst and Bruce, basically, I think. With, yeah, let's see, who else, anybody else? Not really. Um, Amethyst and Bruce are going to be our two big, uh, really our two big people. Mm, pardon me. In the next gym. I mean, I think some of our other guys will be useful. But it's, Amethyst is going to get a lot of work. Well, you'll see. Bruce, though, really. See, and now the Wilmer are gone. Yes. And before we set off... No. Bag. Uh, super Repel. Use. I think I could buy Max Repels, but... Okay, so we've got a team battle. She's got a Meryl, and he's got a Gyarados. Except she turned aside, so we're just going to fight him. There's, a, there's no other word for it. This is pathetic! Sure, dude. Okay. I should have moved the... Oh, well. Mike and it is sort of behind, but, uh, yeah. Thunderbolt. Gyarados are quad weak to electricity. Just like Wingull. <laughs> All right. So I may leave this on. I'm feeling blue. Blue is the sky. Right, uh, see, Bruce is our highest level guy right now. I'm going to take that off, Mike and Ed. Well, no, actually, uh, Carlin is our highest level guy right now. But Amethyst is going to need... Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. Experience share. All right. Alright. I'm growing bored of swimming. How about a battle? Sure. And we've got Grace and her Meryl. Alright. Elma. Fight. Thunderbolt. Zap. It's super effective. And we defeated Grace. I had no idea that you were this strong. I don't look like much, but... All right, so let's see. Right, nothing up here. Let's see. You see that? That's something that will happen later. Okay. Hey, are you lost at sea? If you can beat my Pokemon, I can serve as your pilot. I'm fine, dude, but if you want to battle, I'm cool with that. He's got a tentacle and a wingull. Have you figured out my Pokemon philosophy yet? It tends to be overwhelming power. Uh, <laughs> let's see. And no, Wingull. Thunderbolt. I love quad weaknesses. All right. Let's see here. I lost my bearings in battle. 
Okay, now we've got an interesting one coming up. Uh, let's... The boulder! Switch you second. Oh, well, no, actually, better not. Better just do Mike and Ed switch. All right, so we come this way, around here, somewhere. Okay, that's not it. There's all sorts of swimmers around here. Let's see. Okay. Right, here we are. My big sister is tough at Pokemon. Don't cry when you lose. Yeah, that's not happening. Sis and Bro, Lila and Roy. Yeah, she's got a Chincho. They're water electric types. So Elmo is going to get the Carvana and I'm going to uh, leech seed that Chincho. Because, yeah, Chincho don't have a lot of, um, weaknesses. Electric isn't weak to grass, but it doesn't resist it either. Uh, that's really the, it's, it's only, only, it's one of its few real weaknesses. So, you know. All right. So you're going to use strength on it, and Mike and it is going to bullet seed it. Alright. Yeah, I haven't used Mega Drain very much recently, but it's still pretty good. Flail. Okay. That's a move you don't see very often for good reason. All right. All right, and we defeated Lila and Roy. Uh-oh, my big sister will chew me out. What if... Will you battle with us again? But take it easy next time, okay? Sorry, kid, I don't throw battles. Sigh, if only if it wasn't my little brother next to me, but a nice boyfriend. Uh, okay. Not Pokemon. Bag. We're going to buy... We're, where we're going, we can actually buy some pretty nice repels. So, uh, let's, um, take on this lady. She's got a Whalmer. If you just float around in the sea like this, Pokemon come to play. Right. Huh, so let's spike her volleyball. Fight Thunderbolt. Yep. All right then. And Amethyst gains some XP. Very nice. All right. Darn, I've gone and lost. Let's see. It's only on a whim, but maybe I'll get you to register me in your Pokemon app. Sure thing. All right. Now there should be a... Is there anything up here? No, it's just a place to stop. There's a... Okay, here's another swimmer. And he's got a Tentacool and a Wilmer. And th then I'm going to stop. Swimmer Chad would like to battle. Send out Tentacool. Thunderbolt. Alright. Amethyst gets an XP. Wilmer, no. Alright, yeah, we're actually very close to the 7th gym, but there's a few things we're going to need to do before we actually can.
Nice, we crit it. I there's something about Wilmer Cries I like. I don't know. And Elmo grew to level 35. Very nice. All right. Glub, glub, glub. I'm sinking. That seems to be a common battle loss quote for you guys. Okay. So somewhere around here. Aha. I think. No. Yeah, we're now technically in Moss Deep City. Uh, there's a... Uh, water's dyed a deep blue. Yes. All right. There's a house around here. Aha, here we are. Hunter's house. We talk to him. I'm the diving treasure hunter. I'm the awesome dude who makes deep sea dives to gather treasures resting at the bottom. You haven't got any treasures for me. If you see any shards like the red shard, you gotta trade it with me. Yeah, this guy trades you shards for evolutionary stones. See? We probably, but you can't get shards until you can dive. So that'll be a thing. All right. So we're going to go straight to Moss Deep and um, save. There's some, there's some trainers we could get, and I'll do that next time. Welcome to Moss Deep City. <laughs> Our effect wore off. I can't do this anymore. It's utterly hopeless. I'm a fighting type trainer, so I can't win at the Moss Deep Gym no matter how hard I try. Arr, punch, 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 punch. What? Don't look at me that way. I'm only hitting the ground. Or do you want me to teach your Pokemon dynamic punch? No. Darn, you're even making fun of me? Punch, 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 punch. Yeah. What do you have to say? Ah, uh, it feels great letting the waves wash over my feet. Speaking of the waves, you know the island city of Setopolis? I think the gym there had a new leader come in. People told me that the new leader once mentored Wallace. Yeah, um... Okay, there's the Pokemon Center. Good. We're just gonna save, and next time we'll head out and do some stuff. Yes, so heal. Yes. We got some... We got a couple trainers we wanna... Uh... Do before we come back. Alright. So... We hope to see you again. So let's save it here. Yes. There's already a save file, yes. Alright. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. And I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye. So, who shall we talk about today? How about that Pokemon we're going to run into a lot over the last bit of the game? Wilmer. Wilmer is a combination of wail to howl and cry and Myrrh, the ocean. Whale is also a type of sea creature that this Pokemon represents. The Japanese name is Hueruko, from Hueru to bellow, and Ko, child. However, the Japanese pronunciation of whale is Hueru as well, making this almost the same pun in Japanese and English. That's pretty cool. Wilmer are based on whales and beach balls, basically. Their species name is even the ball whale Pokemon. Those prominent teeth aren't actually teeth, but baleen, fibrous plates used to strain krill out of the water. The lines on its belly may be intended to evoke a ball volleyball, also a popular beach sport. At level 40, Whalemer evolves into Waylord. Waylord is whale and lord. The Japanese name is Hoeruo, from Hoeru and O, meaning king. So basically, this is one of those Pokemon names that are a direct translation. Those can be kind of interesting. Waylord are based on blue whales, the largest known animal ever to exist, yet bigger than the dinosaurs. It also strongly resembles a blimp, which is sort of an evolved version of Whalemer's beach ball, I guess. And now, to address the Donphant in the room, hot skitty on Waylord action. Pokemon breeding compatibility depends on something called egg groups. Pokemon may be in one to two different egg groups, and any Pokemon that share an egg group are breeding compatible. Whalemer and Waylord are are in both the Water 2 egg group and the Field egg group. Tiny Little Skitty is in the Field egg group and the Fairy egg group. That means that yes, if you leave a Skitty and a Waylord of differing genders at a daycare, you may come back to find an egg. The mechanics of that I leave to your imagination. <laughs>